Hi guys, hello to everyone. Um, today, in this video, I will just uh, tell you that uh, how to resolve a, signer, a signature embedded code problem. So, what exactly is that? But before going on that topic or going to the problem, I just want to tell you that for this purpose, for this video today, I'm using um, IDE, which is Visual Studio Code and my customer module's name is the same which is in my previous videos customer uh, this is my <clears throat> custom module and the id is visual studio yeah visual studio code as i said to you and odoo i'm using is odoo 15 which is community variant let me just show it to you in settings <clears throat> This is Odoo 15 community version. Perfect. Okay, so let me just go on to the problem. So what is the problem I'm just talking about? Um, this is a very, uh, a very, I would not say common, but this is a tricky uh, situation, a tricky problem. And um, how to resolve it, it's quite simple. So if we go into the users and uh, let's go to the admin user and if we go in preferences so this is there is a field here email signature so let me just show it to you so sometimes we want to we want to paste our digital signature here um, sometimes we want to paste a digital signature in form of HTML sometimes that is a image embedded image so if we will paste it in this field it will not work so let's suppose I let me just give you one example. Uh, I have just from one website just a sample. I've just copied some uh, HTML code. So what I do, let me just paste it here. So this is some HTML code. But I have pasted, but this is just in the form of HTML. It has not been converted into the uh, signature which can be visible to the uh, uh, to the outdoor audience or uh, to the people uh, wherever this email or just uh, this signature will be visible so uh, let me just show you how it should be let me just give you one example let me just discard this let me just go to uh, i'm going in technical but bef but before going to that your make sure your developer mode is on so my developer mode is on. So I'm just going in email templates, which should be here. So email templates, yeah. In email templates, uh, just go in any email template body. So let's go in purchase order, send purchase order. So this is the HTML body. So if I go there, so this is the <clears throat> code in the body. Uh, this is the uh, body template so let me just erase this and let me just copy the same html um, formatted uh, signature here let's paste this right oh sorry so first click this and with this button i can paste html code here so i just paste the same thing which I paste in other uh, example. Let me just show it to you. It's the same thing. That's it. And let's click this one more time. So you can see here that that code has been converted into the proper signature format. But in, if we go in users, sorry, in settings, if we go in users here, so if we go in users and preferences here we don't have that converted button here or embedded code option here where we can input our html code and it will be converted to the proper uh, signature form so how how to resolve this okay please uh, please note in some odoo editions in odoo versions automatically this field has got all this which I'm talking about but in some versions it doesn't have so if you don't have and how to resolve this issue this is this video is only for those people okay
So how to do that? So let's jump to our a Visual Studio code. <clears throat> so what we are going to do, uh, we just need to go in our custom module and in our views, we just need to create a new file. And we name this file pressusers.xml. And let me just copy this. And we need to paste it in our manifest file. Views slash write. After doing that, um, let me just open this file. Just let me just copy this. OK, this is the empty file now. And what I'm going to do, just delete this. OK, so, so we actually need to inherit that field, right? And we, that name was signature. So in record ID, we can say that press uh, users mm, form view extension or any name you want to give. In name, any name. So I just use this practice. Okay, uh, so here we just need to give the model name. What is the model name? So if you come here, you can see here the model name is res.users. Copy this and we need to paste it here. Right, and here we need to give the inherit ID. So how to find out inherit ID in my previous, previous vid videos? Several times I have just shown you how to do that. So here, uh, because this is the form view, go in after developer mode click here and edit view form oh what is happening loading so uh, here this is the external id so you need to copy from here and paste it here right okay and now in XPath, uh, what we need to do, the XPath is the field, and field name is signature. So we need to give here signature. How to find out the field technical name? You need to go in front end here. And this is in preferences. If you go and hover your mouse there, and you will find the field name is signature. Right, guys? So signature and what we need to do we actually we in position we want to do attributes so because already field is there we just need to change um, some attributes or add some attribute right so first attribute name is we need to give here uh, is a class <clears throat> okay um, and we need to give here value is equal sorry this is wrong so <clears throat> we need to say a class and value is uh, we need to give oe hyphen a bordered editor right we need to give um this first okay we also need to give another attribute as well and which is let me just copy this and paste it here so attribute and we need to give options so uh, options and value will be we just give that uh, let me just I've already copied it. So that is style inline true and code view is true. This is what we want. Right, guys? So 
that's it. Let's remove this. We don't need that. So that XPath has completed. We just need to upgrade our module. All right, in front end, go in applications. And let's upgrade our module. Right, no errors. Okay, let's go to settings. Let's go to our users and choose any user. Go in preferences and now click edit. Right, okay. You see here. So we still have hasn't got that. Let me just check in the code. Okay, uh, I think need to change the syntax. It's not right. So let me just search it in the code, Odoo code. If I go, okay. Okay, we can write like this. So attribute name, just like that. So we just erase that, right? And here, we just need to say uh, style inline and we say it's true and comma and the another thing we want here which is code view and we also say is as true okay let's Restart the service and upgrade our module again. Uh, upgrade. This is our custom module. I hope it will work now. So we just need to go in settings or um, we can go, go directly to the users so it's users here choose any user here and we go in preferences edit boom voila so uh, now let's test this from online i've just got a sample signature code so i click here here and it will give me um, a box where I can place my code, HTML code, and I click again once more, voila. That's it. So I have got my signature now. So I can um, paste any image here if I just, if let's just erase that. And so if I just I can just paste any image here or because this is um, uh, any code I can just paste here HTML code and it will just um, change it for me so yeah this is it guys this is it uh, so you you have just seen how we have uh, we have inherited us our signature field and we added some attributes uh, to help us to resolve our thing. So let me just again show it to you. So here, uh, we have created a file which is rest underscore users.xml. And here, our we just need to give our record ID, any record ID you can give, uh, model is ir.ui.view. And in name, you can give any name. <clears throat> in model, rest.users, that is a model. You need to give then inherit ID, which I have shown you how to get that. Um, inherit id uh, then in xpath you need to give the field which you want to change and in position we need to say attributes and then we need to add attributes what we want to add guys uh, let me just check there is one more thing if i okay uh, one more attribute you can add here 
which is quite beneficial for this kind of field we say attribute name we say widget here and in widget uh, we say we want to give html <coughs> or uh, we just go through this in similar syntax so options and in here we need to give html uh, sorry not options widget right uh, let's restart restart my service <sighs> okay and I just want to show you something else which might help you so we go in settings sorry click on users again preferences okay so this attribute already we had I just want to make this field a HTML field yeah so yeah if you see here then the HTML field I have also made this field a HTML field oh sorry it was a HTML field but I have added a widget HTML which has given me this widget uh, options so you can uh, paste any image as well in form of if you have uh, your signature in form of the image you can also paste it here so i hope guys you like this video uh, if you like it please like it share it with your friends and yeah thanks bye